Hi everyone, here's a quick video to show you how we do a large assembly analysis using Autodesk Fusion 360 and some solid. Okay, here we are in Autodesk Fusion. This is uh, about an 85 part assembly of a grapple. And I want to analyze this a couple different ways in SimSolid. Uh, first, I need the SimSolid plugin. So the plugin here is already installed, but uh, just to make sure, you can go here to scripts and add ins, add ins, and make sure you have the SimSolid uh, add in it loaded. Okay, once you have the add in, it's very simple to use. Just simply um, make the parts visible that you want to analyze, and I want to analyze everything, and then just pick this button. What will happen is all the parts with the associated material properties are now loaded into some solid and now we're good to go with our analysis. Let's first create our connections between all the parts. And there we have that done and now let's go and do a simple analysis. Um, I'll do a static analysis. I will constrain the throat up here and I will add a load to this paddle, say um, minus 100 pounds, and a load to this paddle of uh, say 100 pounds. Okay, that's all I got to do. I'm good to go. There is no meshing in some solids. So once you have your loads defined, you have your geometry from your CAD system, you just pick this button and say analyze. Now the analysis process in SimSolid is a little bit different. It's an adaptive solver. So we solve it at a minimum three times. And each time we examine the errors in the numerical solution. So we, you know, uh, iterate to improve the accuracy. Okay, it's done. Uh, let's see, that took us um, to do basically the equivalent of mesh and solve three times, 13 seconds. And we can go back and look at, uh, here's maybe our display shape and we can, uh, view that, um, maybe even animate it. And uh, let's save the animation as a bookmark. We'll come back and look at it later. Um, maybe we also want to look at um, just stresses. So let's look at uh, Von Mises stresses and zoom up maybe a little bit and uh, we'll store that as well. Okay, so that's one analysis, but uh, you know, maybe let's assume that we have a second design study. What's easy to do, I can just take the first one, I'll copy it. And here I'll assume that the loads are a little bit different. I'm going to move them out of plane. So I'm going to pull this one this way and push that. So it's easy. Let's just make this minus 100 here, just to copy the first one uh, and modify it like that. And then we'll take the second one and we'll make it uh, 100 here. Okay, we can run that one again, just to pick here. So we'll run our second analysis. Again, this is an 85 part assembly and we're solving it adaptively. Pass one, pass two, pass three. Um, we can look at the results between those two. Here is our animation of our first load case. And here's the animation of our second load case. So you can see it's out of plane. Similar way, here is our stresses for the first load case. Here's our stresses for the second load case. Okay, but let's assume now that um, we want to look at a second design configuration. So let's go back to uh, Autodesk Fusion. Let's open up a design modification. And it can be the same model or a different model. It doesn't matter. And I have a, a, a model here with some different geometry, and I want to see the impact of that, those two analyses on this design variation. So I come back here, I just pick my Open and Sim Solid button again. And this time I have a choice. I can either go to a new project, or I can go to my existing project. Let's go to the existing project. Now this time when it goes into Sim Solid, it does something a bit different. It loads it as a second design study. But it also can, you know, copies all the loads and boundary conditions from the first design study. So you can see that these up here were all copied down. And now all I need to do is I need to run these. So I can just sit there and run that. You know, it's very simple. I, all, I don't lose any of my analysis definitions. So in, in fact, you know, I keep all the analysis definitions in spite of the fact that it came from a different design file. 
which is very unique. Uh, run this one as well. Okay, so that's my second design study, two load cases, 85 part assembly, everything's uh, basically done. So now let's just kind of look at the results. Here is uh, our first uh, design study. Uh, here's our second. So you can see the different geometry. Again, there is our uh, animation of the uh, second load case. There's a second load case. Similar for stresses, there's stresses for design study one, there's stresses for design study two, and load case one and load case two. So you can see that in spite of the fact that it's a fairly large model, and this is, this is not that big for some solid, it's 85 parts, we can do hundreds, even the thousands of parts, but you can see that because we don't do meshing, because we analyze the original CAD geometry without any simplification, it's very, very fast to look at design configurations and evaluate uh, design change in SimSolid. Okay, thanks for, uh, thanks for, thanks for watching.